Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video we'll be creating this fire axe for use in Unreal Engine 4. At the current moment it's still just used as a um, static mesh, but I will guide, guide you through the process to create this and then in a later video we will cover how to use this as our own little weapon um, in Unreal Engine 4. But for this video we'll cover the basic texturing, creating the model, and then setting it up just to import into Unreal Engine 4. Alright, let's get started. So first thing I want to show you is just the references we'll be working off. This is a drawing I made myself in GIMP. This is a photograph I took of a door and this is also a photograph of a piece of metal I took. And we'll be using these three images to build our axe. So what you want to do, you want to jump over into Blender and use the side panel. If you don't see the panel, just push the end button on your keyboard. In nearby background images, just check that and say add image. Then you click open and then just go to where your image is stored. I want to change the axis to only the right. I'm going to jump into the right view and then into for graphic view. And it's a little bit small, it's only 10 centimeters, so we want to change that to 100, so it's exactly a meter. And there we go, so we're going to close that and then we're going to start building. So, first thing we want to add is we're going to add a circle, we're going to change the vertices to 12. And let's change the radius to 5 centimeters, just so that it's small enough so we can see it. I'm just going to split off this view. And I'm going to jump into the front view here. Then back in this one, rotate 90 degrees, and then you'll see what our circle looks like over there. Uh, but as you can see, it's perfectly round. Well, not perfectly round, but it's round. And uh, handle the axis normally uh, not... This is more the diameter of a pipe. So we want to scale this. So it S and X. So it scales on X axis and let's move it round about there. That looks about right. Then we're going to move this piece in this viewport all the way to the bottom here. We're going to rotate it so it matches up with our area. And then we're going to scale it down so it will match up the bottom of the X. Tab to go into edit mode and then we're going to start extruding. So extrude. And while we're doing that, we're going to scale to match up to our image. Scale and rotate. Do that again. Rotate it first, scale. And then we're going to do this all the way to the top. I like to keep the distances fairly equal, um, just in case you want to add some more detail or just want to change it up a little bit. Then for this part, we're going to scale, but you want the bottom piece over here to be fairly st straight with the, the rest of the model here. And that looks pretty good. Oops. Just one thing to note that when you are in, when you're not in wireframe mode, if you select faces on one side, it will not select the faces on the other side. So don't make that mistake. Okay, so that should be the handle of our axe done. Just going to hit smooth shading. That looks pretty good. We just have to fill in this bottom face here. So holding Alt, oops, Alt and right click, click push F, and there we go. And that's it. That part is done. So let's get started with the top of the axe here. So for this part, just going to put that 3D cursor over there. I'm going to hit Shift A, and we're going to add a cube. It's a little bit big. We're also going to change this radius down. And then we're going to scale it down. Essentially what you want to do is you want it to match up to this part of the axe. 
then these you're going to do is you're going to just grab that put that to that side and this and put that over to that side I think it might be best let's rather do it like this we'll take this piece up and we'll extrude from here that way we don't get a strange pinching over there, there we go. control R we're going to add a loop cut over there and I think we might have to add one more here and two more over there and then you just kind of match up the vertices with your picture here. Then this part we're going to extrude all the way to the end there. And then these you can just move up to match up with the X over there. Okay, yeah, that should be done, except for the fact that it does not look, it looks more like a hammer than an axe on this part. So what we're going to do is, in wireframe mode, select all of this, scale it on the x-axis. Just move it right to about over there, maybe scale on the x-axis a little broader. There you go, that looks a little bit better. But the front piece of the axe is normally very sharp, so we want to add, let's say, two loop cuts here. This one. We're going to take this one by selecting both sides. Actually, what we can do is we can either scale them very close to, to each other or we can merge them. So I think for simplicity's sake, let's merge them at the center and you repeat that for every part there we go so you have a nice sharp piece and then this part we're going to scale on the x-axis so it kind of matches up and then I think this part as well scale it in a little bit more so it looks more like an axe on that side. Then for over here, we want to take these. Also scale this on the x-axis. Oops, take those two scale. So it has more of a curve going there. smooth shading and see what that looks like I think that looks pretty good so that's this part of the model done so what we're going to do next is we're going to actually start UV unwrapping <laughs> 